Hello guys and welcome back to the 23rd Java tutorial. This tutorial is not much of a very beginner's tutorial and what we are going to cover in this tutorial is quite complicated and very important as well. So I might say that you might want to focus on this tutorial twice as much as, much as you are focusing on any of the other tutorials. So, just a little background story. Up to now, we have only seen how you can pass some values as arguments to the methods. And then, like it was this. Okay, so let's let there be any method, say, volume. And then you, it would take some double height, double length and then when you would call this method using an object say obj is an object obj dot volume you would pass you would pass values of for and that would be held for height and length you would pass like 34 and 66 any of these so we are past those now besides passing values what other things you can pass as arguments is an object. You can pass a whole object as an argument to a constructor or to a method. So that is what we're gonna learn. We're gonna learn in this tutorial how would you pass an argument how, sorry how would you pass an object as an argument. So passing an object as an as an argument is what we are gonna learn in this tutorial okay so let's see let's just define a constructor a constructor would be public okay before that I've already defined the three instance variables for whom actually I'm defining this constructor because I want to initialize these right when the object is created so public constructor would be as the same name underscore class and this constructor will take three parameters for height length and width so double height double length and double width so now just the same this sorry height equals height then this length equals length then this width equals width okay g dh okay so okay I've created this so let's just create an object for this second underscore class let it be obj equals new second underscore class let's pass the values of these three to which we want height length and width to be initialized to so let this be 30 40 and 10 okay so this just creates an object which actually has a constructor say I want to create another object and I want to initialize the values of height length and width of that object just similar to the values of height length and width of this object for this object height length and width are 30 40 and 10 say I want to create another object and for that I want to have another construct constructor that would just initialize the values of height length and width just similar to these so how can I do that the ba very basic simple method that you guys would be thinking would be just 
and declare another object set to equals new second underscore class and pass these same numbers like 30 then 40 and then 10 and in the programming of the other class will again create another variable another construct constructor that would be public second sorry class then again it would take double height double length double width And then again, you'd be thinking that it'd be just similar if I copy these to here because it'll be again this height would be equals to height and this length would be equals to length and this width is, would would be equal to width. But that wouldn't do. And why is that? Because if you see that this constructor also has three parameters and this constructor also has three parameters. So both the constructors in the same class cannot have same number of parameters otherwise this object will get confused to which par to which constructor is it referring to. So this is not a way to define an object having same values as that of this object. So what would I do? I would pass this object this object a obj as an argument to the constructor of the object obj2 once again I'm gonna go I would pass this object obj as an argument to the constructor for the object of a obj2 how would I do that I would just simply write obj now when I would deal with its constructor I would sh I should have something to hold this obj now obj is an object whose data type you might consider is same as that of the name of the class so again if I want something to hold that object I want the data type as of class it's name of the class so let ob be a temporary object that would hold the value of obj here which I have passed as an argument for the constructor of obj2 so this becomes okay hold on yeah so this becomes the data type of the object OB which is temporary because it's it's just a parameter that's gonna hold this object this object OBJ which I've passed as an argument so this remember we are doing this to have an object that would have same initialized values just as the object obj okay so let's do let's see how we can initialize the values of height length and width just similar to that of the above uh, above object so in this constructor i'm going to write height equals to now you know to access something from object you write object name dot h whatever the th whatever you want to access so I want to access height of this constructor that means height of this object object obj which has actually been initialized in this constructor so I would have to use ob dot height because this height is of the other object of this object so I'm going to use ob dot height now length equals ob dot length and width equals ob dot width what this would do it would initialize the values of height length and width for object obj2 just as the values of height length and width for obj1 so if I write in both the constructors out dot print ln the volume is then 
just write height into length into width and I would copy this and then paste it right here also because I want to see the values of both the for the for both of the objects and now if I run this program see the answer is just same okay there's a problem it's plus it has to be multiply I was an error I'm sorry for that I'll run it again yeah as you can see that for both okay my bad I've copied it so here also please pardon me for that yeah so you can see that volume of both the objects has come out to be 12,000 it's same and that is because the values of height length and breadth for both the constructors are same that means I've initialized height length and breadth for this object also 30 40 10 and height length width of this object 2 also as 30 40 and 10 say if I change this to 40 40 40 and 10 so if I'm correct then height length and width of object 2 should also change to 40 40 and 10 if I run the program you would get to know yes it's now 16,000 for both that means both for constructor 1 and both for constructor 2 we have same output that means height length and width of both the objects are same now so as the height length and width of this object varies just with that height length and width of this object would vary too the height length and width of this object totally depends on this object if in further in program this change any of these changes simultaneously those changes would be seen in object 2 as well so I hope you guys got even a little bit of what I just mumbled here because I know it's not very easy to get but just ask me to do another video if you feel like if you want to hear this one more time with some other examples I'll be more than happy to help just post it in the comment if you want so but this topic is very crucial usually you wouldn't see this topic anywhere on the YouTube channel for the people no disrespect but it's not very common they don't teach you this usually but I've just thought it would be very good for you to know how we can pass an object as an argument so I'll see you in the next tutorial till then bye bye